German football and Adidas are breaking up. The German national team will no longer wear Adidas gear. Instead, it's going to sport the U.S. Nike brand. The move comes as a shock to football fans in Germany who've seen their players in Adidas for the past 70 years. The German Football Association says the switch to Nike was driven by financial and other concerns. Well, to work this out, we've got Mark Meadows with us here in the studio from DW Sports. Mark, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. The German Football Association dumping Adidas in favor of Nike. Uh, this seems to be coming out of nowhere. What's going on? It was a massive surprise, yeah. I mean, you could tell that it was a surprise for everyone apart from the, the German Football Federation because Adidas and Nike didn't have any statements ready. I mean, Adidas were contacted and they kind of said, well, uh, yeah, we're only hearing about this today. <laughs> What's also interesting is the timing. Uh, the German men are playing an important friendly against France on, on Saturday, preparing for the home European Championships here in Germany in June and July. And Adidas only last week just announced the new away kit, which was a pink kit, quite, quite controversial. Germany hadn't had that colour before, but actually it's been selling quite well, apparently. And yet suddenly then the German FA come out with this. So it is a huge surprise. I mean, Adidas is an iconic German brand, right? Uh, sports brand. What would you say is the main reason for the German Football Federation taking this step? It's basically money. I mean, the German FA have had problems financially, partly due to COVID. Obviously, there were not fans in stadiums for, for two years for Germany matches. But it's also the fact that the Germany men's team and women's team haven't been very successful of late. Obviously, the men's team went out in the World Cup twice in the group stage, and that affects income. You don't sell as many shirts, you don't get as much prize money as if you win it. So they've looked at it and they thought, well, Nike are offering 100 million euros a year, and apparently Adidas were only offering 50, and then it's a big difference. But what is also strange is it seems, reading between the lines, that the DFB didn't actually go back to Adidas and say, look, this is what Nike has offered. So that's caused a bit of confusion as well. Well, we'll see whether they whether the, the sports teams play better in Nike. I wonder about that. Uh, what about reactions to this move? You say it's come as a, as a surprise even for uh, for Adidas itself. Indeed, I mean the German media this morning is full of this because they just could not believe it. Because as you say, Adidas and Germany teams, it's, it's a marriage made in heaven for 70 years. I mean, actually, Adi Dassler, who set up Adidas, he <laughs> sort of invented the screwable studs that you put into right. the soccer boots, yeah. and that is a Part of the reason why the Germany team won the 1954 World Cup only nine years after the end of the Second World War. So they're, they're that closely linked. So it really is a huge surprise. I mean, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit like Olaf Scholz, the German Chancellor, suddenly driving a Ford instead of driving a Mercedes. It's just so, so shocking. And in fact, the Vice Chancellor, Robert Harbeck, uh, the Economy Minister, he said this is basically not very patriotic of the German Football <laughs> Association. So, yeah, um, people are really stunned. And uh, the, the German FA have basically had to go on Twitter and defend themselves constantly over the last few hours, saying, look, we have to make this decision financially. It's a rather counterintuitive move, though, you would think. But, but the money, so I guess it, it talks. Uh, do you think we'll ever see Germany playing in Adidas again? I think we will, because this Nike deal is from 2027 until 2034. So you can bet that Adidas will do everything they can to win this contract back in 2034. I've got friends who work at the Adidas HQ down by Nuremberg, and they're absolutely stunned. You can just imagine the factory this morning really subdued. They will do everything they can to win this contract back. It's a bit of a humiliation. Yeah. Mark Meadows from DW Sports, thank you very much.